American Jury and Bulldog Nation, it's time for the top five list today. Yesterday, we did the five best presidents. Today, we're going to do the five worst presidents. I just want everybody to know that Jimmy Carter would be number six if I did six. All right, number five worst presidents of all time is Andrew Johnson. Why? Because Andrew Johnson succeeded the presidency right after our secular saint Abraham Lincoln was assassinated, and he was a drunk, and he was from the South, and he was weak. He was from Tennessee, and he allowed bedlam to occur in this country for three years. I mean, it was awful. It had great consequences that for three years we had an awful, four years we had an awful president named Andrew Johnson. Worst president number four. Lyndon Baines Johnson, LBJ. Folks, LBJ laid upon our country some of the socialism that still exists today. And not only that, I think LBJ was maybe American history's pol biggest political gangster. I mean, the guy was unbelievable. Worst president number three, and it's not even close. Bush 43. By the way, he used to be number two until recently. Why is he the worst president? All you got to do, when you judge a president in the modern era, you have to judge a president of what did he do domestic? What did he do in foreign affairs? Well, Bush 43 blew up the Middle East. He let Russia and China do whatever the hell they want. And then, of course, on the home front, he sat back and watched the, the, almost the complete collapse of the American economy. That's what George Bush 43, <laughs> old frat boy, cedar cutting from Texas did. George Bush 43 was like having a fraternity drunk as president. Worst president number two of all time. He's only been in office for a couple months. Joe Biden. See, I'm doing an anticipatory because I already know he's so bad with all of his policies and everything he's doing. He's a geriatric president being towed around, puppeteered. I mean, it's a joke. How did this country, I mean, I remember Trump saying this on a campaign trail. How do I lose to a candidate this bad? Well, we know what happened. Joe Biden's the second worst president of all time. He's only been there for two months. And number one, worst president of all time, you got it, Barack Obama. I'd crack up at these liberal uh, pieces that say that he's one of the top 10 presidents of all time. And let me tell you why he's number one. He took our national debt from $5 trillion to $15 trillion. He took America and knocked it down to size on purpose. He let Russia, China, Iran, North Korea do anything they want. They, he let a caliphate form in the Middle East. I mean, he just took what Bush did in the Middle East and made it even worse. I mean, this guy was the worst president, domestic and foreign. Not only that, nobody increased racism in this country more than Barack Obama. He fed that, he fed that. He was also the most corrupt president next to LBJ with Eric Holder as his wingman at the Department of Justice. Anything and everything went under this guy. He spied on a president coming into the office. He committed, I mean, this guy is a political gangster and he was awful. Domestic, foreign, personal. And they always act like Barack Obama is this brother cool guy. You know, he's so cool, man, look. Like, what did Joe Biden say? Look, he's a black guy and he's nice and neat. Barack Obama, worst president in history, and it's not close. So that concludes my top five worst presidents of all time. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the Bulldog Show and hit that bell so you'll be alerted when I do other videos. Last but not least, please comment below. I'd love to hear from you.